Thank you for joining me today. My name is Trevor Ginther and I'm here with Petro West. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about how to hook up a utility trailer to a pickup. What's critical is we need to know the ball size. We're gonna talk about safety chains, how they're hooked up. We're gonna talk about the electric breakaway system, how to test it on the trailer and how to test it in the truck. Sit back, relax, and I hope this is informative. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna verify the ball size on the truck. So we have a two and five sixteenths on the truck and on the trailer it also says two and five sixteenths. So we know the ball and receiver match. So we're just gonna hook everything up and then continue on from there. So now we've verified that the ball and hitch are the both same size. So we got two and five sixteenths. That's verified. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock the hitch into place. Okay, so we have that on there, that's good. So I'm gonna hook up the chains. So a key thing when you're hooking up chains is you always wanna make sure you cross chain it. So you form a cradle. If the hitch ever let go, uh, the hitch is not gonna hit the road surface. It's gonna be cradled here, okay? So that's critical that you cross chain, all right? So the next step is the breakaway cable. We're gonna hook that on. So with the breakaway cable, you want to make sure you have enough length when you turn, okay? And also your chains, they have to be long enough so you, you can also turn. You don't want to drag them on the road. All right, so next step here is we're going to hook up power for lights. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to test your electric breakaway system. So the key thing you have to remember all the time is first disconnect your power. The reason we do this is if you don't connect power, sometimes you can have a, a surge of power when you pull this out and you can blow your fuses and your lights go out. So disconnect your power first, okay? So next step, we're gonna pull this. Then what we're gonna do is pull ahead and your brake should come on the trailer. 